The silo guys are here getting set up. They're hoping to pour that first ring today if it doesn't rain, so we'll see what happens. Yesterday, the electrician was here working on pulling this wire through the driveway. I didn't get any of that filmed. It worked fine. I wasn't sure if they were going to have trouble pulling around the 90 degree turn down there, but it didn't seem to be an issue. It's three phase power coming across. There's three big lines and then two smaller lines they brought as well. So yeah, they got to get this all hooked up, but it's through, so that's good. They have this end all hooked together already. Power's on the other side of the parlor there, so they brought it over the ceiling and then down this side and underground out across the driveway. We'll soon have our power out there. It's not going to be long until we're cutting Triticale and then we're going to want the unloader to run. So we need to have power and then we're going to get the unloader installed. Hopefully by the end of next week it'll be set up. I don't think we'll be harvesting before that anyway. I just got the manure spreader hooked up, brought it over to the calf barn. We got some calf pens that need cleaned out really badly. This whole barn's full now, besides the pens that have a mess in them. Should be about one spreader load to do these three pens. We got some big Angus that need to be moved out for the neighbor. Some big boys in there. These calf pens work pretty well. The way they're designed doesn't really keep the bedding in. It always spills out the front and makes a mess. So the first thing you got to do is clean this up and then we can actually open the big gates to scoop them out. use the skid loader go grab the manure bucket we do have two separate buckets keep this one just for feed keep it clean we're still using the same machine though so I don't really like that especially when we're in kind of liquid manure gets on the frame and the tires that's one thing I like about our robot feed system we're putting in it's gonna take away that chance of us dragging any mud or manure into the bunkers the feed will always be clean out of the bins or out of the silos so that's gonna be really nice
got those cleaned out. So now we're having a little issue. This building, it all drains down this way. We have a pipe that goes underground just out to the side. It's plugged up. Every once in a while we have to dig this out and spread it. So we'll get it scooped out and then we have to clear the line out because it's backed up into the pipe. The calf feeders dump the water buckets out every feeding. So whatever the calf doesn't drink gets thrown on the floor and it drains out. So it's just that water, but then you get a little bit of the bedding that works its way out from the pens and it eventually builds up. What we're going to try to do is just scoop that out every time we clean out some calf pens. If we don't do it for a while and then it builds up, it becomes an issue. For the most part it just evaporates there. It doesn't really drain too well that direction because there's not much slope. But we don't usually have issues with it backing up. When they built this barn they decided to slope it this direction. We were thinking we could have sloped it that way. It might have been nice to keep the water out that end of the building. This works out pretty well. My dad's going to get some bedding. We're going to bed up these calves. We got an interesting calf in this barn. We got a Jersey Cross right there. Our custom breeder must have grabbed the wrong straw or something. We recorded it properly. It was in the computer that she was bred to a jersey. It's just we wouldn't have told him to do that. We actually don't mind. It'll be kind of interesting to see how it turns out. I know some farms cross with jerseys and they like it. I got all the forms up for the first ring, rebar's in there. Now they're setting the platform up. I got one sprayer load of manure to haul. I'm spreading in one of these rye cover fields that I sprayed the other day. So this stuff's in the process of dying. It's gonna be another week until it starts to really look like it's dying. Should be good to plant in a couple weeks then. So the issue they have on this first ring, since they had to get it perfectly level, there's some gaps between the footing and the forms. So they want to keep the concrete thick enough that it doesn't just spill out of the bottom. But if it's too thick, then it doesn't fall into the place where it needs to go. So he has to shake that cart to get it to fall out. He normally doesn't have to do that. I think they just did a layer on the bottom there and then they're adding some water to it. It pours a little bit easier the rest of the way.
Hey guys, so it's the next day. Milk cows this morning, and we had a little issue with one of these gates. So you can see the bottom of the part of this gate swings closed, and it's got this air cylinder attached to the gate. This gate is just broken down. I need to get this gate off, take it over to the shop. I don't know if I have the right size of tubing, but we'll see if we can get something figured out. I got it fixed up somewhat. I never said it was gonna be pretty, but I think it'll hold up for a little while. Fit pretty well. This was a little out of place. Almost straight, but it's just down a little bit. It was kind of hard to get it lined up, but I think that'll hold up for a while. So they got the second ring poured. Now they're setting up forms for the third ring. They're starting to shoot now. The electricians are done for the day now. I wanted to show you guys what they did. So we brought that power over from the parlor underground right to the side of this building. Uh, came up through the wall there and across through right there. So this is our new panel. It's about 200 amp. So what they're doing now is running power across they didn't quite get that done it's going to go down to our other old panel that was in here before and they're actually going to feed this so this is going to be powered by the new supply and then this runs over and it was getting power from the commodity barn over there which is getting power from our old feed room that's going to be stopped off so it's actually going to be sending power from here over to the commodity barn now once this is all done they wired the silo up from here then they went up through the ceiling and across above the rafters straight out from the silo. They put a box with the amp meter, start and stop button for the silo unloader. And this is the lever to raise and lower the unloader. So we'll be able to watch the amps and adjust it, drop it down as, as much as we need to. This is a temporary setup out here because since we're gonna be filling the silo in the spring, but the robot won't be running till the fall, we need to have a way we can turn it on manually. So what we're gonna do is stick a conveyor through the wall out to the new silo just straight out here and we'll be able to back our feed mixer in for the summer for the next five months or something we'll just back in and then get out and turn the switch on to get the feed then once the robot's set up we're still going to be running power out this way but we're not going to use that switch anymore everything will be controlled off the main controls that'll be in the feed room eventually there's going to be a big plc controller uh, that'll be linked into the lily vector boxes so that's all going to communicate and tell everything when to turn on and off. It's a lot of switches and sensors and everything. That's all going to be mounted on that wall eventually. But now we got the power here. That was the first step. 
So we could actually use this silo and then the power's here. We can use it to uh, build everything else that we need to. The next step in the process then is get the second and third silos built, which they're starting on the second one already. And we want to clean the shop up, get all of our tools and supplies out of here. I'll talk more about what we're going to do for a workshop in another video. So as we get towards summer, we're going to have more time to work at setting this whole feed room up. It's going to be a bit of a process. It's exciting, but it's also a little stressful. So we're looking forward to having everything set up and working. Hopefully it works the way we're picturing. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Appreciate you all watching. See you in the next one.